Look at that. Philly heading into Washington. The Eagles are minus six and a half. I'm going Eagles. Yeah. I got to go Eagles, but I think this could be a sneaky one. I sneaky. agree. I agree. Sneaky rat dog. Only sneaky because it's the division possibly, but I still think the Eagles are going to just give them work. Yeah, I'm taking Eagles too pretty handily. The missing piece is revenge game. That's true. Is that is blessed. true. <laughs> He's no, had this but, circled for a long yeah, time. It is, it is a big game. I don't know. It, I think it, it will be interesting, and I'm going to say this to you, Connor. I was at work the other day, and I was really thinking to myself, when you said about Hurts being like a really dark horse MVP, it's like, no. I, I was like, I was. Oh, I I'm thought on, you were about to say Wentz. Is I okay. thought you were too. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yes. I, okay. Okay. I knew he wasn't going there. Oh, I knew there's no God. way he lost okay. it like okay. that. Good, good, good. Yeah. But you, so you agree. Like, I'm like coming around to that. You guys yeah. thought he yeah. lost it like so, that? <laughs> I yeah, really, I, I really thought. Did I, I say what? I knew you no, 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 like no. That. I just they, thought, they the way right you there. were walking it up and leading it up, I was like, no way. Oh no, <laughs> no. But you agree, you agree. Hertz is playing at an MVP level right it's now. It's at a high, very high level, yes. Mm-hmm. And it has like surprised me kind of. But like I said before, and I think it was our first show. I was like, it all depends on him if they want to go far. And right now, he has proven he's, everyone wrong. He's doing it. And the thing is, the narrative is there. Like he came. From being like, if you ranked all the quarterbacks before the season, you're not putting him any higher than 15. If he plays at a top 10 level, dude, the narrative is there that like oh, yeah. he's most improved. Yeah. He's what it looks like the leading his team to the number one seed. Like, how can you not so, get an MVP after that? It's like a Lamar type of story. Do you guys remember yeah, what facts. I said about Hurts? Yeah. I don't even know. I think it was before the season. I was essentially on the train that he's such a good leader. I knew the Eagles were going to win games based off of that. And now he's playing like a top tier quarterback through the first two weeks. Yeah, we can't. It's kind of scary. So his biggest thing is obviously going to be consistency. But at the very least, I still think he's a great leader. I think he's going to lead the Eagles to a lot of victories. But like I said, if he's if he's balling out like that, like when he hit that deep, uh, was it Quez Watkins over the middle for the touchdown? I was blown away. I was like, if he can, if he has that in his bag, it's scary. Yes, I agree. So, so here's the, here's one of the major points I wanted to say about this game because I think it's really interesting. And I was even I didn't even think about this until we started talking about it. The whole thing with Jalen Hurts and uh, but so, so my thing is his development, right? Where I because he I, I missed really hard on him and Josh Allen. Where you guys know my thing, honestly, when they came out first year or two in the league, I was kind of like, eh, I'm not sold really, and I don't really understand the big jumps going to happen. Here's where I think that I'm starting. Where I what I've learned from this, and what I'm going to start putting a lot more emphasis on when I'm watching young quarterbacks, right? A lot of a lot of young guys we think are going to make the big jump, and they don't. It's the guys that are hitting the easy stuff. They're hitting the sit over the middle. They're hitting the stuff they're good that their coordinators are designed for them. You know, upper middle of the field, like in in between the numbers, right? But that's the thing is with Jalen Hurts and Josh Allen. They were missing a lot of the easy dump offs and little of the things like that where you're like, what's going on? And but 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 Jalen Hurts was consistently and Josh Allen putting the ball outside the numbers in these weird throws where you're like, okay, they can really hit these these th- those throws. And that's what Jalen Hurts too is one thing he always did that even when he was playing really bad, they made me shut up. Where I'm like, all right, you know what though, he can really make these nice throws outside the numbers. Where like the flash, not a lot of QBs can do that. And and once you and, it, and especially it's like you can it's like you come in with the ability to make those outside the numbers throws. Then once you can start making the inside the numbers throws, the defense has to respect everything. And that's and what we're seeing is and, and now it's it, and that's going to be that's the, the the name of the game is decision making. And, and all these and, you know, it's the simple things as far as just doing the right thing. If he can get the ball to any spot on the field and make the right decision consistently, the, his ceiling is MVP this season because we've seen what it looks like so far. And that's, it doesn't have to be incredibly flashy. It becomes flashy when you're making the right decision consistently. Yeah. And that's what's crazy is. It's the Eagles, man. They are Super Bowl contenders right now, no doubt about it. The way that O line is playing, defense isn't even playing anywhere near the top yet, like, like level yet. We know that. I, I'll tell you right now, the defense still has plenty of work to do, but they're getting it together more. And I, the Eagles are a scary team. I think you hit it right on the nail too, because he's been so consistent with his decision making. Everything has been perfect, and it's like to me, it's going to be hard to uphold that. But even if it goes down to like. 75% of what it is now, 80%. Like, he'll still be a very good quarterback this year. So, it really is decision-making. And I think his biggest improvement is the over-the-middle throws. Like, A.J. Brown's hitting that 10-yard in, and the ball's right there on the money. And that's where they've, that's where he's played so well. So, it'll All be right. interesting. I feel bogus. We were talking – it was basically just talked about the Eagles. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? 
Well, does well, well, you say but, you, but you got to give him? You got to give the commander some love. I, I, that's I was, what I'm saying. We're, is this is not just the Eagles playing the Eagles. Connor, this is the Eagles well, playing well, the commander. I had Connor to give, can talk about the commanders. No, he hates because, them. No, because <laughs> I owed I owed Jalen his his dues because the what I used to never give him his dues, so I, I owed it to him. I, I know, I understand, but I just I just gonna tell. So how's this game gonna play out? Yeah. That six and a half is scary. I, I don't think it should be six and a half. That six and a half is scary. Maybe four. I think it's a division game. I think And the I Eagles think, are on the road. Yeah, and they're on the road. Yeah. And I, I do like I, I do love what the commanders have at receiver. It is really cool to me. Sorry. I, I don't mean to interrupt. Where do you rank them as far as receiver groups? I know that's a trios? hard question, but just like vague. It's a great question, honestly. Just generally. And it's an important uh, one at the moment. Well, none of them have really developed a, I mean, outside of Terry, we haven't seen Curtis because he's been like hurt, but he's been playing well. If he stays healthy, hmm, I feel like 15, top 15. I mean, oh, well, I was going to say even 10, like maybe closer to 10. Yeah, yeah but I like, know. I don't know. I, I would have to like go through all of them, but it, I think they can reach that potential where people talk about them more if because Dotson they've got evolving. all. If, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If Dotson can play well, man, they're, they can, you know, make some noise with the receiving. And obviously, the Wentz experience. Good throws and a really bad one and then a good one and then a bad one. I'll switch. I don't, yeah, I don't know if the one's experience will ever stop though. Yeah, that's no, the one no, consistent thing you're going to get from the Commanders. Yeah. Uh, the last two times that Philly and Washington have played, Philly is two and zero in both those games. One of the games they had 519 offensive Jesus. yards, and now their team is only a shit ton better. Yes. So I'd make this line minus ten. Wow. Well, well, you also have to think they're playing Heineke and whoever. Like, that's oh, obviously that's an upgrade. Uh, <laughs> Wentz, is an up, Wentz is an upgrade. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yes. That's so, fair. like, yeah. Are we ever going point. to see Maybe. the Commanders play with a lead this year? Um, Wouldn't they play week one? Yeah, they had a lead. Oh, they did? Week one? Oh, they beat the, the Lions. Oh, I'm tweaking hard. They played I think, the Lions I week think two. that they might be in a different dimension I from week one. Hard. Well, I might actually. They were losing the entire Jags game, though. Yeah, that's what, what I'm they? saying. They were down yeah, by like 17. The yeah, whole game, yeah, yeah, yeah. they barely squeaked it out. Am I tweaking then? Yeah, you're tweaking. Oh, they wow. were, they I, were. I thought they were up. No, they were no? like the Jags oh. like were up like 17 at one oh, point. Oh, yeah. I think uh-huh. it was 17-0. To be well, completely let's... frank. No, because I, feel like, that I feel like that would have been more of a bigger story because it's a comeback. You no, know no, it, no, that's what it was. Yeah. Was it? It was a comeback though. It was. Man, I'm. Here we go. Yeah, they had the, the live. Up. We're looking back live. You said the commander. Yeah. I have a weird they question for y'all. Game. What is the? Well, let, let's hear it. Oh, is Carson Wentz gonna just be like another like Ryan Fitzpatrick? Yeah. They were down twenty two fourteen. Like that's what it feels like. They were winning that's, the. I, Jags. Oh my god! Just, it's a great. It's a great question quarter. because that's the thing. Is no, I mean, I've been thinking about too. It's like okay, yeah. you're gonna I, provide I'm enough confused. value for somebody. Yeah. I was thinking about when they went off. Like someone. Oh yeah. Because someone's always desperate. They're like, my roster is good enough. I just need the quarterback. He might just be like the quarterback for all these like <laughs> contending, but like not contending. He forever will be. What if that is? What if is 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 once the new Fitzpatrick? That's the question of the week. Potentially, yeah, I could see it one hundred. Because it really makes so much sense. Like very similar play styles in terms of like boom bust. Like one week you're gonna love, one week you're gonna hate him. Like you're still gonna probably want him to come back if your team is doesn't have the guy that, like ahead of more high draft pick. I don't know. I think Fitzpatrick wins football games, and I don't know if I can say the same come about Carson on. Wentz. Oh, come we can't. I'll be completely frank. Oh, come the fuck on. He doesn't. Oh, wow. My. <laughs> what the fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> oh, my God. What? Don't you hate Carson Wentz? Well, I'm just saying, Fitzpatrick was winning games? Where? Uh, the... Raiders Dolphins game oh, where he got thrown in and he oh, made those crazy oh, plays. Fitzpatrick did get cheated out of the playoffs hard. That's the most bullshit. Well, I'm just to saying, 10 wins and they know playoffs a, is some bullshit. That was a ridiculous statement. That was ridiculous. All right. How many of the games did Carson Wentz win last year? And how many did Jonathan Taylor win? Tell me that. Uh, that's like asking. Uh, Carson Wentz actually played so you have Mike, last year. Like, yeah. like you have Michael Jordan on your team. You're not going to give him the fucking ball? <laughs> Like, <laughs> no, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying, saying Jonathan like, Taylor won. Huh? No, Jonathan Taylor. <laughs> and that's in that offense. Like, obviously, he's Wentz like, ain't oh, no dude, Scottie Pippen, bro. I was having well, this I'm discussion. Not he is, but like, <laughs> no. I'm just saying, like, you're going to get the ball to Taylor no, until you die. I was having this discussion the other night. I was having this discussion the other night, and I need to make because it was with an Eagles fan, too. And this is the thing. I think every Eagles fan needs to hear this. I think this is the truth because it's like, this is the thing where it's like, no matter what, 
Jake. God damn it. Jake. That's, that's, no matter, no matter where calls coming in, we got a lot going on. No, no matter what, look, this is the thing. No matter what, Carson Wentz put the Eagles in position in 2017. He put them in position to have home field advantage, to have the ring, and to go have the opportunity. So no matter how you want to look at it, Carson Wentz was a huge part of that, was a huge part of that. Yeah, that like, even though he wasn't like a part of that playoff run, he was a part of that, having Dougie that home field advantage, us. and that's a huge I thing. I cannot, in those games, I cannot, when you in those games when you have, but he won, hasn't been that since. Well, yeah, 2017. But I, no, but I'm just saying. I'm saying at, that's my point. Is at least when has Carson Wentz put his team in a great position to go win a Super Please, Bowl, Lord. and that was a huge like. No, no, no. Tell me when Fitzpatrick has ever done that. Stop it. That was so <laughs> foul and ridiculous. Yeah. I can't believe. Look he at him. He wanted to get a ride. Yes, that, <laughs> that was absolutely like atrocious. <laughs> All right, Please let's go into the next game. That was hilarious. God, that got me sick.